Welcome to Jobbed Out, the wrestling editorial that reminds you that if there's anything the WWE knows, it's how to put its fans through hell. So a long, long time ago, I stumbled upon a series of WWE-themed hot sauces during a WrestleMania weekend in NOLA. Based on the popularity of the first two videos I'd done on these sauces, we know exactly how much you enjoy them. Well, too bad, because if you ever needed a perfect metaphor for Hell in a Cell, it's this. Think about it. Loads of hype and belief that it's going to be the ultimate climax to a wild blood fest and properly end a major storyline, and what do we get? Kane interfering, Brad Maddox interfering, a hologram, a hanging, and somehow a disqualification. And that is the perfect introduction, as my good buddy Dan, host of Hot Sauce Done Quick, and I finish off WWE's venture into the hot sauce market. Welcome to hell in a cell. A, a bottle. A, welcome to hell in a bottle. Jimmy the Freak of Jobbed Out. Dan from Hot Sauce Done Quick. We have been doing some of these wonderful, wonderful gems uh, over the course of 2020. These hot sauces that I picked up in New Orleans for WrestleMania 30. This is the third one from the batch. For all you October fans out there, Hell in a Cell. What is it? Uh, oh God, sauce that sets your ring on fire. Why is that not called an Inferno match? I don't know. I don't know. They have precedent for this. They yes. could call it that. Well, the Inferno match is literally putting the actual like troths around the ring it's and setting fire. it on fire. Yeah. Ain't nobody done that in Hell in a Cell. It's this, this is habanero. garlic habanero hot sauce. I'm hoping this oh, is going to be hot. I have to stand corrected. This is not WWE Hell in a Cell sauce. This is Hell in a Bottle. Now, I was in New Orleans in 2014. That's how I picked this up. I picked up a sauce that was actually Hell in a Bottle. I had one drop at a fucking time. <laughs> I had the hottest fucking sauce. And hilariously, I gave the hottest fucking sauce to a coworker of mine, a little old Ethiopian woman, because hot sauce wasn't good enough for her. And she loved it. She hated one, uh, like, having something in her purse called the hottest fucking sauce, <laughs> but she asked me to order more bottles for her because of how good it was. it was actually hot. Mm -hmm. I don't have a lot of faith in this. Considering the last. Two. As the hot sauce expert, what have you got to say? Okay, it says habanero on it. I'm excited. It says garlic. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Now, what kind of garlic do they use in here? Because if it's pickled garlic, it might go overboard. I feel like it probably will be because these sauces that we've done have all been more sour yeah. than hot. In fact, hilariously, the one that should have been hot had zero heat. None. None. Raw and SmackDown, the same weekly disappointment that you get on TV. Yeah, this has distilled vinegar, habanero peppers. Good, that's a heat blast. It'd be really disappointing if it didn't, though. Carrots, garlic, and onions. So we're gonna find out. You know what? This might this might taste like Mary Sharp's. Ooh, get some high praise. No way. Well, Mary Sharp's, the original sauce, really good. Uh, the rest of it, mm, I don't know. <laughs> Mary Sharp's lineup and me don't have a have a good history. Let's just say. <laughs> Actually, that smells pretty good. That smells pretty good. Okay. That reminds me of a chorizo, a chorizo sausage. My uh, my grandmother, yeah, basically when she'd make chorizo, it always smelled like this. Yeah, it definitely smells like a chorizo sausage. There's, there's, there's something in there that... I have a feeling this could be a little thin. You are absolutely correct. Oh, look at that. That's so sad. Yeah, it's, it's a little, it's a thicker. It it's looks almost side. split on your chip. Yeah, it's pretty thin. All right. I've never had great experiences with habaneros, except for that time in college. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what up, Jake? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what can I say about this? Meaty vinegar. Mm -hmm. Go somewhere into a meaty, some kind of umami tone. And then, a savory. A lot of savory, a lot of sour. No heat. They managed to make a habanero. Give it a sec. Like, it's not a lot, but the delay, the tongue will start to feel it, but it takes some time. Put a little more under. I'm just saying that this could have been hotter. It's a habanero. Mm -hmm. I've had way hotter habanero sauce. I feel like right now, this is my level of heat. It took like about 20 seconds, but the tongue has a little tingle to it, more than than the other WWE sauces had. That's for sure. No, I think I'm, I'm getting it at all. I think I'm blown out. There's like a, a there's like a little 
like little spicy mm -hmm. attack of heat, and that's it. Mm. But there's nothing like it, and it tastes so meaty. It's such a strange sauce. It's got to be that garlic in it. I like it actually. <laughs> it's, not, it's not terrible, but it's I'd not. I put that on a wing. I'd put that. I'd put that again in sausage. It just immediately strikes me as chorizo. Mm. I don't know. I I don't mind that. That's probably the best of the three. Mm -hmm. It's the best of the three. It's the hottest. And when Helena sells out doing WrestleMania, you've booked your entire year wrong. <laughs> <laughs> More shit. But I gotta say, I gotta say, like, I like it. I'm, I feel, you know, a little disappointed that you and I aren't sharing the same thing because my tongue is actually like, for someone with no like, with the no tolerance for heat, the fact that I can feel it like still, yeah, you know, tells me like, shit, that's actually hot sauce. It's not to the point where I like need to go grab some milk or anything. No, it's not that hot. None of these sauces have been. That is on par with Tabasco in my mind for heat. I can agree. That is on par, right on par with that. Which is disappointing because one of the sauces we tried earlier in the year <laughs> literally tasted like Tabasco. <laughs> what can I say? Yeah. Well, what's your pick from best to worst? Mary fuck kill. What would you do? Ooh, Mary fuck. This is gonna have to be like a bonus in October. <laughs> yeah, there you um, go. Mary fuck kill. Fuck this one, and fuck hell in a bottle. <laughs> I'd marry the uh, raw sauce with chipotle, with real chipotle smack. Real chipotle! And I would kill the WrestleMania sauce. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be controversial. I'm gonna agree, I will fuck hell in the bottle. Cause that's good. That's like your spicy sauce. Mm -hmm. Marry the WrestleMania? the WrestleMania one. The one where you actually have to add hot sauce? Yes. For it. Marry that one because it's a good standard, a good base, and kill kill Chipotle. Yeah. <laughs> Killing Chipotle, I mean, that's Sorry. what Chipotle does to you. That's what Chipotle does to you. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, SmackDown and Raw. I gotta, I gotta send you off to the farm. Suffice to say, the sauce did not set our ring on fire. Give them credit though, out of all the sauces we tried from the WWE, this one at least had the most complicated palate. It had a good amount of flavors, but for a habanero sauce, this thing is straight up PG era. Ah well. Now if you enjoyed this review and you're curious about Dan's work, go check out his channel, Hot Sauce Done Quick. Every vid is short, to the point, and has its own little twist. And if you head over right now, you're gonna see his take on this very same product. That's it for the WWE branded hot sauces that I got from WrestleMania 30, but you'd be surprised how many wild and crazy ways the Fed has ventured into food and drink. In the meantime though, what do you think? Of the three sauces Dan and I reviewed here, which would you be interested in trying if they brought them back? Let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more because I want you to be a part of the conversation too. For now though, I better get my shoulders off the mat, so thank you for tuning in to Jobbed Out. I'll catch you next time.